Welcome back. Today we're having a look at how to successfully compress video files using the handbrake compression tool. Now guys, um, this is a really, really, really great um, compression tool. And what I'm basically going to do is, seeing as um, currently my internet is extremely slow, really sorry about that guys, um, I will not be able to post a actual, um, a quick one minute tutorial here about how to actually install handbrake. So um, instead guys, I will just post a link down in the description. Now I'm really, really, really sorry if that is inconvenient for you. But anyway, guys, um, let's just get straight into it. Handbrake uh, is a, definitely the most successful compression tool I've ever used uh, in my current days, I guess. Um, But I use it for um, all of my videos. And I just want to show you guys, because just in case you have a like a really large file size and you want to try and compress, Handbrake is definitely something to use. So basically, guys, you just want to uh, open up Handbrake. And once Handbrake opens up, I'm just going to put it in full screen. What you want to do is you need to have a source file. Now, usually what happens for me is I convert an AVI into an FP an mp4 so what it basically does is you get something like an avi which is usually quite a large file size and convert it into an mp4 so on my source here guys i'm going to go open file and it's stored on my desktop uh inside here it's actually just stored on my desktop and it's called test recording avi now guys the actual size of this is um the actual size of this one, I'll just have a look here, is 9.21 megabytes. So it's actually just me saying, literally all it is, uh, hello, welcome to a test recording, and it's me exiting in and out of... <laughs> it's me um, exiting in and out of Cam Studio, which I use for recording. So um, guys, we're just going to uh, close VLC, and I'm going to see how small we can get the file site, the file that was previously 9.20 meg, and see how small we can get it using Hamrick. So I'm now going to set the destination of the file. I'm just going to keep it on my desktop, and I'm going to save it as test recording compressed. Okay, test recording compressed. And I'm just going to keep all the aspect ratios and all that um, sorted. Now, um, with here, on your constant quality, which is in RF, I'm really sorry, guys, I'm not that much of an expert in file compression. I sort of heard that apparently they try to take out bits that are repeated inside a video file. But, guys, um, I'm not an expert, so definitely, um, if you have anything else, or you have um, any, any other questions, go ahead and have a look on the web, and I'm sure there will be tons of answers up there. Um, no, sorry about that, but now we're just going to click the start button. And as you can see, it will be it will be blazing fast. I was like f four seconds or something. And guys, it went from here 9.2 meg down to 326 kilobytes. So that is a massive, 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 massive decrease. Just to um just for your purpose to get an exact value. Of course, I could estimate, but I just want to get an exact value for you guys. Uh, it is 9.2 by 1024 uh, divided by 326. So that means this this was 129th the size of the original file. And that is a massive, massive, massive decrease. So guys, what's actually really, really funny, um, just so I let you know, when I actually record like my Python tutorials and stuff, the original file size is usually like 150 meg, yet I managed to shrink it like into something like 8 meg, or sometimes even as low as like 4 or 5 meg. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for the handbrake compression, compression tool. Really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm um, sorry about, you know, not being, not having that much expertise um, in this area. But, you know, I just thought I'd show it to you guys because it's a very, very, very great program. I use it very frequently for all my videos. And I hope it helped you out um, when you were trying to compress your files. So, you guys, um, thanks for watching. I'll be sure to see each and every one of you next time.